Thursday afternoon. Fred isn't sure what happened, but after a promising start, he's stuck. What he had to do was pretty simple. Find a topic and a research question. His topic, the birth of Marxism. Fred felt lost, but he looked over at Jules. Jules is a friend who often hangs out at Fred's place. Jules usually has nothing to do. Jules is what one typically calls a career student, which means he's a guy who started a degree and then stopped, and then started again. In between, he was a waiter on a ferry, a badminton instructor, a prison guard, and a butcher for a grocery store. Jules was usually worthless, but that day, Jules was offering Fred his help. Ideally, it would have looked like this. Bon, cette question de recherche. Définir les conditions socio-historiques de l'émergence du marxisme en Allemagne en prenant en compte la vie de son initiateur, Karl Marx, 1818-1883, et le contexte sociologique dans lequel il a vécu. C'est bien ça Ok, tu me signes ça. In reality, it happened like this. Un peu plus, hein. I don't want to disturb you, gentlemen, but I get the impression that you're lost. You need to take a step back. You know that as a university student doing academic studies, you will regularly have to complete research projects. And as you know, this skill constitutes one of the bases of your studies, one of the essentials of your job as a student. Without good research, you run the risk of wasting precious time and drowning in spiraling information, resulting in a work of poor quality. To make it through, it is vital to follow several steps. Most of the time, you will either start from the instructions given by your instructor, or come up with a topic yourself from a general theme, perhaps from a class you're taking. This will frame and shape your initial reflections. First, review your objectives. Evaluate your available time and the level of depth required. Do you simply need to address a topic? Do you need to go deeper? Do you need to find specific information or a general overview? Do you need to write a paper or simply research a topic? If you need to write a paper, what kind? A term paper? A literature review? Etc. Once you have determined the extent of the work to be done, review what you already know. After this step, you will certainly notice what's missing. To organize the missing information, use the WWWWH method. You simply have to respond to the following questions. Who? Who are the people involved? What? What are the facts? Where? Where did it occur? When? During which period? How? How did the events play out? Why? What are the reasons for these events? Once you have gone over these questions, fill in the missing information. To do so, you can use general reference sources such as encyclopedias and dictionaries. Once you have found the missing information, you will have an overview of your subject, which will allow you to formulate a general one-sentence research question. You will repeat this exercise hundreds of times during your studies. If you master the technique by paying close attention to each step, you will no doubt save time and avoid missing the mark. Trois Q, trois Q, trois Q. C'est ridicule. Qui, quoi, où, quand, quand, comment, pourquoi. Quoi, pourquoi. Qui, quand, quoi, où, pourquoi. Mm-hmm.